I'm Jessica here at Nautilus Mission Control at the Inner Space Center in Rhode Island. And we're joined today by ROV pilot Jennifer Blyne, who's currently in the studio on the Nautilus. So welcome, Jennifer. Thanks so much for joining us today. And could you start off by walking us through a typical dive? What are your responsibilities in the control van? Well, before we start a dive, we have to go through a series of pre-dive steps to ensure that both the vehicles are all set and ready to go and that we'll have no problems um, during the dive. When you get into the van, you first have to get the vehicles in the water and then you just start descending until you reach the bottom. The Hercules vehicle will start going where the scientists would like it to go. And at that point, Argus will have like a, a bird's eye view almost of Hercules and you just travel along through the water until you find the targets you're looking for. You stop, take a closer look, take some samples and um, continue on your way. And how did you get to become an ROV pilot? Well, I recently just graduated from URI and in one of my classes this past spring, Brennan Phillips, who's actually the operations manager aboard the Nautilus, came to my class and was discussing the fact that there are internships available on board. Um, I sent in my resume, filled out a little application, had an interview, and I was hired. Does it ever become challenging or scary to operate an ROV? I actually don't find it very scary because Argus is tethered directly to the ship, so I'm not actually driving it anywhere. I'm basically in charge of rotating it to keep uh, Hercules in the view of Argus. So I don't really feel that much pressure given I don't really drive Argus around, whereas the Hercules pilots must have a lot of pressure because it's like they're driving a little car underwater that you can bump into rocks and things. Um, so I feel that the Hercules pilots actually have the harder job and driving Argus is actually pretty fun and not really that difficult for me. And have you been enjoying life at sea? What's been the best part? I have been enjoying life at sea. It was a little tough to adjust at first, but I like the fact that it's almost its own little society on board. Everybody is really nice and friendly and willing to help. And I've enjoyed um, just getting to learn about everything that's on board. I mean, I didn't have that much knowledge of the, the vehicles themselves before I came on board. And I feel like I, I really got a first-rate experience because I now understand what, how the vehicles work and what we use them for, and I think that's really great. Well, thank you so much, Jennifer, for taking the time to talk to us. Oh, sure, no problem. Again, I'm Jessica here at Nautilus Mission Control. Stay tuned at NautilusLive.org. And now back to the action on the ship.